Kyle Henderson here of NMPreps.com, live from Rio Doso High School. It's two days on NMPreps.com. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for following on Twitter at NMPreps. Wanted to quickly recap the Southeast New Mexico High School football tour. We kicked off on Monday morning with a stop at Hobbs High School. Hobbs is led by second-year head football coach Charles Gleghorn. Last year, the Eagles were 2-8. and eight. This year, they return a lot of talent on the offensive side. Up front, they're not that big, but they don't need to be big running that NASCAR up-tempo offense. Quarterback this year is David Romero. He takes over for Braden Price. Last year, Price threw for 2,500 yards. Key name to watch for Hobbs. There's actually probably two of them. Brennan Amaya, their 179-pound running back who did 100 and 85 pounds, 17 times at the NM Preps Elite Combine a couple weeks ago, and then Colin Zimbus. Zimbus is a player who's their backup quarterback and also their best wide receiver, probably their best athlete overall. I think he's going to do a fantastic job for Hobbs in 2013. The next stop we made was in Artesia. The Artesia Bulldogs last year were 8-3 and three and would return 6 on offense if it wasn't for Trevor Yulenbach moving to Friendship. That's over in Lubbock. And if... Receiver Zane Pittam and running back Gavino Size were returning. I mean, those are some big guns that they lose on offense, but it's business as usual at Artesia. Artesia returns some very good talent, as they usually do. I mean, it's a program that doesn't rebuild, they reload the quarterback this year. Um, I guess that's still up for debate, but they have a junior quarterback by the name of Ben Kelly. Ben Kelly is a very good quarterback, he's very accurate within the seams, and I think he's going to do a great job when he gets his opportunity. They also have two sophomore quarterbacks. One by the name of Justin Hotling. I think he's going to be a big-time prospect in the next couple years. He's out of the class of 2016. They also have a quarterback by the name of Chase Matthews, who's a new name to our database. And, uh, you know, he threw the ball really well. I mean, they have three really good quarterbacks that, you know, I think are going to get the job done for the Artesia Bulldogs. Another name to watch for Artesia is Dion Wesson at the wide receiver position. Um, you know, just great all-around athlete. Probably one of their best athletes on their football team. Our third stop included the Carlsbad Cavemen. The Cavemen um, last year missed the playoffs going 500 on the season. This year they return a, a ton of talent, to be honest. I mean, they have a six foot four quarterback, Rodney Holcomb, who we've talked about several times this year and, and last year. You know, last year he did throw a lot of interceptions, but he's, he's doing work. I mean, he's definitely one guy um, to keep tabs on for the Division I watch. They also have players um, like Kane Fierro, Travis Kessler on the defensive side. Um, they have some big names as well to go along with it. Um, off the top of my head, I'm, I'm just forgetting my bad on that. Um, but their offensive line is led by Gilbert Navarretta and uh, Jacob Vargas, two, two linemen that are 300 pounds. Um, they did lose Aaron Kirkus this year, um, which is a big blow. He blew out his knee at the Eastern New Mexico football camp, so that's a big blow to their defensive team. But overall, Carlsbad, I think, is definitely a playoff team, and they're going to be one to tangle with this year in, uh, for the district championship. Today we're here at Rio Doso High School. Um, Rio Doso last year, 10 and 2, two losses to Silver City, but they return some great talent. They do their, lose their quarterback, Bryce Pompas, but at quarterback this year is going to be Keith Johnson's son, Parker Johnson. Um, one of the top prospects in the class of 2015. Parker Johnson had a stellar combine performance just a couple weeks ago at the NM Preps Elite Combine. One of the top juniors, no doubt about it. 185 pounds. Uh, 23 times, and he ran a 4.640. He's already getting interest from Nebraska, as well as a couple other schools. They also have Matthew Carr, who's floating around 220 pounds. Definitely one of the top defensive linemen in the state of New Mexico, honestly. Riadoso going to be, um, you know, a prime contender this year in Class 3A. From Riadoso High School, this is Kyle Henderson of NIMPreps.com. We'll catch you soon as the high school football tour throughout the state of New Mexico continues.